Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Mirio Tanag Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is come down here and grab our weapons. We've got two standard sticks as well as a bow and five arrows. Um, and we're going to come over here and jump over the lasers. And to the left, we've got some boxes that we can jump over. And there's some fire fruit on this tree. If you want to go ahead and use that on your arrows, you can do a little bit more damage. But we're going to work our way to the left side and over here we're kind of going to cheat a little bit we've got two explosive barrels that we're just going to use to take out some of these constructs so we'll drop one on the enemy on the top there knock him into the water then we're gonna have a couple more that come down these guys are pretty strong so we'll go ahead and drop uh the first one here we were able to take out one guy we've got two more that have decent health and all we're going to do is use the lasers on this guy so you can see how we kind of let them run through the first laser we can just swing our bat a few times and then I decided to run backwards, let them run through the second laser hit by the fire trap. And you'll see that's going to do a lot of damage to them to where I don't have to do as much. You do want to be careful about getting too close to them. If you start hitting them with your uh, your bat uh, right where all this fire is and they start catching on fire, your weapon will catch on fire. Uh, but you'll see that it doesn't burn out. You have plenty of time. I, I even switch weapons and threw the soldier construct horn on there just to be able to fight the last enemy. But using the lasers to take out the guys that come running down after you is the easiest way to do this and you'll knock it out super quickly and after they're all gone all we need to do is run all the way up top and we're only going to have one construct left and he's super easy to take out you can just use your bow if you want you just hit him once or twice and he'll be down and that'll be all the constructs once you take them out the shrine will end you'll get all your stuff back the door will open and you'll be able to run in grab the chest get the weapon out of the chest and complete the shrine but if you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.